with the natural vision of Mod, I think it's so freaking awesome that they increased the plume of uh, okay okay that is not really what the heck was okay we're gonna pull her over even though I mean legally speaking she should not have rear-ended us there ma'am I need you to pull over to the side of the road for me pull over to the side of the road right now mind the south police my vehicle was glitching out on me the brake was stuck and the gas started going and you decided to rear-end me stay right there do not move Get on the ground, oh, get on the ground. Oh, shit. Damn, he pulled a gun on me. Oh, crap. Oh, jeez. Let's just tap this guy right there. Get in the car. Get in the car, okay. Uh, thank you, bulletproof windows. Get down on the ground. You should be able to see your back up there. Just on your 20. Welcome to Mike Golden Games and welcome back to LSPDFR. This episode is subscriber requested by Cody Acox and they wanted us to do a Monticello police patrol. So I hope you guys do enjoy this one. Delivery was done by Oceans Bay and it is on the Herx Ford Explorer. Let's go check it out really quick. I think it does look pretty sick. Now we did have a little issue finding which actual Monticello police he was talking about. But this is the one Oceans Bay came across and decided to go with. Which delivery looks really cool. I love the blue and black gradient on the police. And also the uh, Monticello line at the bottom there. Looks pretty sick. I don't know how there's got some scratches on the vehicle, but you know, we'll ignore that. Anyway, since the last episode, I finally found out what the issue was for basically some kind of texture loss. Well, let me just show you here. This is kind of, you know, just, just to test it. Just to show you what I'm talking about here. What? Okay. That's odd. It's supposed to be showing you bullet holes in the window, but that's weird that it's not popping up. What the heck? What? Okay. Hold on, what the heck is going on right now? Okay, I can't walk through it. That's weird. Give me a second here. Okay, let's check out the Crown Vic really quick. Hopefully this will work. There we go. As you can see, there's now bullet holes. For the last like six months or so, it's been bugged out and there's been basically no bullet holes showing up. So yeah, as you can see, there's actual bullet holes forming on the window now and we actually have some bullet holes forming on the vehicle. Uh, turns out it was the single player apartments mod that we use for like the real life mod and all that where we can actually, you know, live in apartments and, you know, the high rise and all that good stuff. Uh, so yeah, I'm not sure what is the issue with that mod. Other than it hasn't been updated in probably a year now. But now we actually have the uh, you know actual physics and all that good stuff. You can actually see the broken windows and bullet holes form on the windows. Adds, you know, small details, but I love the realism that it adds. So I'm glad that I finally got that fixed. So let's get out on patrol now. Let me delete this vehicle. And yeah, let's get on. Ouch, oh, I crashed Siren Mastery. All right, let's get out on patrol. I don't know what was going on with this Ford Explorer. Apparently the windows aren't, uh, aren't there. Anyways, uh, let's get our lights off there. Dispatch, you can show me available. And there we go. Oh, no, no, don't tell. What the heck? How? Didn't even realize that was a key binding for a tow truck. Anyways, let's get out on the road here. We're going to be heading east on Marlow Drive. Dispatch, you can show me any calls that are near me. But I do hope you guys enjoy the episode. If you do, please hit the like button. That really does help me out when you do that. And maybe consider subscribing if you haven't already, as well as hitting the little bell icon on the channel. That way you stay notified when the videos go up and when we do live streams and all that good stuff. Uh, we are also still using the Natural Vision Evolved mod, which I gotta say looks so good. Re really? Really? Okay, I guess we're gonna have to pull this guy over. Let's flip around this way. Dispatch, I'm gonna need to get a plate check. Um, let's get this right there. It's an Alpha license. License six to Sam Zebra Tom eight one five. Harry Rod three citations, no flags. What the heck? Hold on. Okay, copy that dispatch. Uh, looks like we have a fleeing vehicle that we need to go respond to. So let's get our lights and sirens on. Okay, no scroll lock, and let's get down this way. 
Alright, dispatch, we're heading east on Marlow Drive. We're trying to catch up to the speeding vehicle. Uh, okay, they are long gone, but we'll try to catch up to them. Uh, let's see. Can we get an additional unit on here? Dispatch. Thank you, dispatch. Alright, looks like we have another unit searching for them, and they just found them. Let's get through there. Oh boy. Yeah, it's a little close there. Let's keep moving. Alright, we're catching up to the other unit. And it looks like they have lost sight of them at the moment. Let's try and catch up. Come on, boys. Let's keep your eyes open. Alright, here's the other unit. Alright, where did they go? Come on, Sheriff. Keep moving. Let's try and locate them. I'll let him take priority since uh, I don't want to get rear-ended by him. Oh man, look how beautiful this game is though, seriously. Whew. The one thing with uh, Natural Vision involved and all that, it's a little more hazy. I'm going to take a left here, officer. Oh. Okay, let's keep moving this way. Uh, we'll see if the sheriff finds him or not. I'm going to keep moving on this road. But like I was saying, it's a little more hazy. Then, uh, make visuals great again. As you can see, like, in the far distance, it it's a little more realistic, I would say. But with make visuals great again, it makes everything more crisp. And just, like, the draw distance looks cleaner, I guess. I don't know. I mean, there, there's ups and downs with both of the mods. Alright, it looks like we may have lost them. I'm gonna keep moving this way and see... It's not them. Alright, dispatch, I believe, yeah, we're gonna be code four on that. We lost them. Damn, that sucks. Okay, anyways, we'll keep moving on this road and see what other calls we get near us. But I hope you guys enjoyed the episode, even though we just lost that suspect. Honestly, I didn't even know we were supposed to be going after that guy until it was too late, so, eh, whatever. We'll keep moving along here and see what the day brings. Alright, let's see. I guess... Yeah, we'll just keep going this way, take a left, and basically we'll be doing a huge uh, circle here. Let's get our turn signal on. I still need to change that key binding for the fire mod. Okay, that car completely blew the stop sign. You know what? I'm going to pull them over for that. Let's get our lights off there. And dispatch, I'm going to need to get a plate check in a second here. Let's get around this way. Okay. Keep moving. Keep driving, man. Keep driving. Let's go. All right, there we go. All right, let's get a play check dispatch. It's uh, Delante, license 01, Queen Boy Adam 613. Target license plate. Dylan Silverfish, two citations, no flags. I'm going to pull him over here, dispatch. Sir, pull it to the right for me. Minus all the police department. Please pull over to the side of the road. Alright, looks like we're good there. Alright, so we're good there. Dispatch, let me check the computer on him. Uh, vehicle records. Delante. Valid registration, valid insurance. Vehicle's not stolen. At least it's not coming back as stolen. Uh, Dillian Silverfish. Driver's license is valid. Uh, let's see, 2019, he was cited for at fault in an accident, and earlier in the year, improper turn. Well, that was another improper turn, so it looks like we're going to give him a citation for that. Let's get out here and speak with him. Excuse me, I'm on cell, please. We'll ignore that. Uh, let's get around here and speak with him then. Hello, sir. You get your driver's license, proof of insurance, registration, all that good stuff for me. All right. Thank you, thank you, sir. All right. So let's see. We want to... You know what? Okay. It, those two menus are bugging out again, so we'll just give him a citation really quick instead of questioning him and everything because everything did check out on him. But, as you can see, he did have a prior for an illegal lane change. So, let's create a citation for vehicle operation. Let's see. 
failure to stop. Go back here and submit the citation. There we go on 8-23-2020, failure to stop. All right. Back it up there. And let's just go back on this side just because we're right at the side of a turn there. I don't want to be standing in the road where we could possibly get hit. All right, and then we need to issue the ticket. All right, here's the paperwork. Thank you. And then, sir, you can leave as soon as I return to my vehicle. Do not leave before then. Uh, he has a boating license. Interesting. It's expired. But, okay, we, we don't need his boating license. He's not in a boat right now. And his vehicle definitely doesn't even constitute as a boat. Okay. Get our lights off and dispatch we are code for on the traffic stop citation has been issued all right let's take a left here we are going to be heading west on galeo road whoa what the are these normally here these traffic cones and all that huh interesting i don't even remember that being there i guess it's been a long time since i've patrolled over in this area Either way, I hope you guys are enjoying the episode so far. Please hit the like button if you do. That really does help me out when you do that. Maybe share the channel, you know, share the video with your friends and everything. That would really help me out as well. All right, let's get up over this way. One more thing, because with the Natural Vision Evolve mod, I think it's so freaking awesome that they increased the plume of... Uh, okay, okay, that is not... Really? What the heck was... Okay, we're going to pull her over, even though... I mean, legally speaking, she should not have rear-ended us there. Ma'am, I need you to pull over to the side of the road for me. Pull over to the side of the road right now. Mind us all, police. My vehicle was glitching out on me, the brake was stuck, and the gas started going. And you decided to rear-end me? Stay right there. Do not move. Our dispatch, let me get a play check on a Gresley license 48 Sam Frank, Frank 262. Target vehicle license plate. Hannah Camores, three Frank, citations. Frank, two, six, two, no, ten, All right, thank you, dispatch. Let's open up the vehicle records on her. All right, we got valid registration, valid insurance, vehicle's not stolen. All right, H40, valid, no outstanding warrants. She's been stopped four times. Expired vehicle insurance, failure to stop, failure to display license plates. Well, she does have the license plate here, so we're just going to do the cooperation at fault in an accident. And is there anything else we need to do? Following too closely, we could do that as well. And then improper lane change, uh, we'll allow that one. We'll, we'll allow that one. Um, we should be good there. Now, we should basically do a full traffic stop on her, but just to, you know what, actually. Okay, never mind, we will do a full traffic stop on her. What, what am I thinking? Let's get her out of the vehicle, do the sobriety test and all that good stuff. And uh, let's see, see, like I was talking about, it's got the double menu. Let's uh, try and get her out of the vehicle. Okay, now it's not double menuing, or is it? Um, see, order out of the vehicle, dismiss, uh, let me, let me try and see, I, I gotta figure out what the double menu is, I believe I fixed it before, Stay there. but Stay here we go, there. now we can get her out of the vehicle, alright man, I just need to do a sobriety test on you, ask you a few questions and everything, uh, have you been drinking today, first off, you don't drink, have you done any drugs recently, man, you've been clean for a year, Alright, uh, you want to tell me what's going on then? Why you rear-ended me? You need some fresh air. Okay, but that doesn't tell me why you rear-ended me. Alright, DUI questions. Okay, so when was the last time you had to drink then, ma'am? A couple hours ago. You literally just told me you don't drink. How much did you have to drink, ma'am? Two cans of beer? Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's go back here and sobriety test, field gaze test, or the horizontal gaze test. All right, man, follow the tip of the pencil with your eyes, keeping your head still. Matt, keep your head still, follow with your eyes. No, you, you're moving your head. You need to keep your head still. Okay, you failed that one. 
Okay, so let's try another one, shall we? Uh, let's do the walk and turn test, ma'am. You're going to walk in a straight line, keep your head still, and slowly walk forward for me. She is, like, stumbling all over the place. Alright, come back this way now, ma'am. Okay, you, you're, you're stumbling all over. Okay, I notice the odor of alcohol now. Okay. Oh, ma'am. Um, so I just got a huge whiff of alcohol coming from you. So at this time, I'm going to be detaining you. So please turn around for me. Please change behind under your back. Arrest. All right. Thank you, ma'am. Don't try anything stupid. Just relax. Okay. So now let me ask you to... Why will it not let me have her follow me? It's only letting me grab her. That's weird. There should be an option to let her follow. It's not letting me do that, though. All right, let's go behind here just so we're not quite in the street. And now let's do... What is going on? Hey, what's going on with that? Okay. Reports of a person with a firearm. Negative dispatch. I cannot respond to that. I've got a DUI suspect right now. I'm going to do a breathalyzer on you really quick, so turn around for me. All right, keep blowing, keep blowing, keep blowing. All right, you're good. Thank you. Let's see. Unable to provide a valid breath sample. Ma'am, this isn't good. This is not going good for you. I'm going to have you do the breathalyzer once again. All right, keep blowing, keep blowing, keep blowing. Thank you. Unable to provide a sample. Okay then, uh, dispatch, I'm going to need a local unit down here to administer a breathalyzer sample. Uh, it doesn't seem like my breathalyzer is working for me. Alright, we are on Gileo Road right now. Alright, I see the deputy now. Hey, deputy, over here. Alright, ma'am, stand right there. Hey, deputy. So yeah, my breathalyzer doesn't seem to be working, so I'm going to need you to administer a breathalyzer for me. All right, you can go around, Hummer. Come around us. All right, are you ready? Let's get it on. All right, Deputy, uh, let me have you do the breathalyzer. Is it not letting me? What the? Kind of glitching out on us today. Here we go. Uh, that's weird. It's not giving me the option to use him to do the breathalyzer test. Oh, there we go. Okay, as soon as I went to click it, it popped up. All right, so now the deputy is going to administer it, and let's see if he's able to. Unable to provide a valid breath sample. Okay, ma'am, so with everything that's going on right now, we are going to be taking you down to the station today, and they will be doing a blood uh, blood sample on you to see how much alcohol is in your system and if there's anything else. You know what? L let me try a drug swab test. We'll see if that even does anything. All right, face me, ma'am. Thank you. And slather that all over your tongue there. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, negative across the board. All right, ma'am. So I'm going to pat you down now. Do you have anything illegal on you? Anything that's sharp that's going to stab me, poke me, or stick me today? Nothing illegal on you. Okay, since you've been lying to me all day, I don't really believe you right now. So just stand still. You are being recorded on dash cam and body cam. So you can't try to sue us for any wrongdoing right now. Uh, using those two sick to see meltdown, a GoPro, and a baggie of the pills. Okay, well, she didn't test positive for any of that, but we'll be doing a more thorough test once we get her down to the station. All right, ma'am, let's get you in the back seat now. And watch your head stepping in the back of the vehicle here. All right, there you go. Now sit down for me. Thank you, ma'am. All right, Deputy, just watch my back while I search her vehicle. Thank you. All right, let's search the vehicle, see if she's got anything illegal in it. Maybe we... Ooh, there's a coffee cup. Maybe she's got alcohol in it. Uh, several passports with the same photograph. A nuclear warhead? What the... I honestly did not see that coming. A nuclear warhead? What the... Is that? Dispatch, we're going to need to get the SWAT down here. Uh... We just found a nuclear warhead in her vehicle. So basically, you know, I removed the single player apartments to fix the, you know, window and bullet hole glitch. But also, there were some other scripts that were causing the game to basically crash on startup. 
and I'm not sure what they were. So I just removed my entire scripts folder. So maybe that's partly why I can't adjust these menus right now. Like that I can adjust, but for some reason it won't let me do anything else. I'm trying to end that. And yeah, so it looks like we're fine then. We'll just get a tow truck for this and we'll get her down to the station. I would have been able to like to call the SWAT team in here to investigate the bomb, but that's all right. Uh, Deputy, we are going to be code four on this one. You're good to return to patrol. Uh, looks like the tow truck is there. And let's get our lights off there. And let's get back onto the road then. Uh, officer activated his panic button. Son of a... Okay. I mean, technically, I'm not supposed to respond to that. But let's get over here because this is technically on the way. You know, that that's what we needed to do was flip around here. So let's get our lights and sirens on. Uh, why is there a deputy sitting right there? What the heck? Hold on. Let me let me get out right here. Let's get the rifle out. Okay. There's a deputy down there. Okay. Did he fall down here? Okay. Ma'am, hang in there. We got a deputy in trouble. I need to go try and help him out. So, I don't know. Maybe he just, like, fell down there. Maybe he was chasing a suspect. I really don't know. So, let's try and get over here and see what's going on. Right, Ma'am, just hang in there. Make sure you're buckled up. Or you're, or you're good back there. Coming through, buddy. Jeez, what are you doing standing in the middle of the road? Deputy, what's going on, man? Are you good? Oh, what's going on? I got here as quick as I could. Uh, everything's under control now. They're in the back of my car. Okay, what? Okay, then. I guess we're good then. Uh, they got really angry and started throwing punches at me. Got on the ground. Oh, damn. You good, man? Apparently they threw the deputy to the ground. You're good, just a few scratches. All right, well, anyways, I should probably get this one back to the station. See you again. All right, take it easy, brother. Okay, that sounded a little crazy. So apparently his suspect threw him to the ground. Got them in cuffs in the end, but there's a little bit of a scruffle there. Anyways, let's uh, get our lights off here. And this guy's just watching. Buddy, just disperse. Just disperse. Jeez. Standing there watching the whole thing go down, not even helping the deputy. All right, dispatch, we are going to be returning to the station now. Let's see, the nearest station is about a mile away. So let's make our way over there. I really do hope you guys are enjoying the episode so far. Please, if you do enjoy it, hit the like button. That really does help me out when you do that. We also do have the uh, you know YouTube memberships now. So if you want to you know subscribe monthly to the membership. It would help me out immensely, and you get some cool perks as well when you join the membership. Check it out, you know, the little join button, see the different perks we got. I think you guys really will like what we have available for the perks. Let's get around traffic there, beautiful. All right, dispatch, we are heading south on Baytree Canyon Road. We are just about a quarter mile from the location. Uh, let me try and fix my lights, there we go. Okay, uh, stop sign. Okay, let's keep moving. I was supposed to turn there. Come on. All right, looks like we're good. I can take a left over here. We'll take a left here. And there we go. Now, technically, this isn't the actual police station. This is the park ranger station. But I think what happened is the FBI wanted to interrogate her because of that thing that was in the back of her truck. And, uh, yeah, super sketch. So they're going to be, I guess, taking her from here. So we'll just drop her off then. All right, dispatch, we are arriving to the drop-off point now. All right, give me a second here. Let's unload Ellis PDFR and see if that fixes it. It got glitched out just because this location, apparently it fixes your vehicle, and also it's the drop-off point. So for whatever reason, it kind of messed things up. Oh, my goodness, the camera is crazy right now. Oh boy. All right, guys, I'm going to leave this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Really crazy with the camera right now, but I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Maybe consider subscribing if you haven't already, as well as hitting the little bell icon on the channel. That way you stay notified when the videos go up and when we do live streams. All right, guys.
take it easy. Man, this is this is pretty crazy though. Everything is just super bloomy, super like contrasted and damn. It's actually really cool looking. Let's see, first person. That's it's kind of like an LA Noir now, you know, you know.